particles in a thundering typhoon! <laughs> so snowy! Where are we going? What am I doing here? Who on earth are you again? Just calm down! Ten thousand typhoons! Hold on! Need to be back in the water. I feel funny. Be patient. Get me down from here. <sighs> Captain, will you stop yelling, please? I've got to stay focused. We're going to die. Out of the question. Did you feel that breakout? This is no time to let go of the rudder! Ah, oh, there you are, you little rascal. You've been chasing cats again, eh? What do you want to show me? Snowy, not so fast. Is this what you want me to see? Easy boy, good dog. You're right. She is a beauty. Ah, oh, she is. She's a real crooner. You mean schooner? Well, that's what I said. Hmm. And she's yours for 90. Snowy, why are you so interested in a model ship? <laughs> you can't eat it. I'll give you 50 for it. Sold for 70. And I'd say you've got a real bargain. Huh. How much for the boat? Oh, I'm afraid you're too late, sir. I'll buy it off you. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not interested in selling it. Wait a minute. I'm a collector. I'll give you ten times what you paid for it. I'm sorry. Listen, young man. I'm warning you. Easy, boy. That's enough, Snowy. I'm very sorry. Good day. Well, that's very strange. We're not the only ones who fancy this old model. I'm beginning to think there's more to this than meets the eye. What do you think, Snowy? I know someone who knows a thing or two about boats. Shall I introduce you? Oh, yes. Thanks. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. So you bought a unicorn. That's his name. Triple master, double decks, 50 guns, and famous for all the wrong reasons. The unicorn? Yeah, you should take a look at this.
The Unicorn, a valiant ship of Charles II's fleet, triple masted, double decks, 50 cannons. 1676, the Unicorn left Barbados, set sail for Europe, and she was attacked at sea by Red Raccoon. The captain abandoned his crew and blew up his own ship. Do you hear that, Snowy? This act of cowardice would bring dishonor down on the captain's descendants for generations. Wow. The captain of the Unicorn, Sir Francis Haddock. He sank his own ship. Why? Why would he send the Unicorn to the bottom of the sea? It doesn't say. History is never truly in the past, young man. History is in our blood. What an odd drawing. It looks like there's a... I'll take it. Thank you, sirs. And have a lovely day. It looks like the mast could be turned. Something inside this model. <laughs> Good old Snowy. So that's what you sensed, eh? It's rolled up. Some kind of document. An old scroll. Three brothers joined. Three unicorns in company sailing in the noonday sun will speak. What kind of gibberish is that? Galleon must be long gone by now. Snowy, it's up to you. 